Hey yo everybody! It's time for the Mythwits once again. The show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and oh, absurdity, here you come. And coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest. Mike, you're the industry guest this week to talk about the ever expanding Geekiverse. Or Mike, uh, we do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I am your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me on this episode as my co host and my guest. It's Mike Kafis. You might even say the ever expanding Micaverse. <laughs> Micaverse. Ever. Ever expanding. <laughs> <laughs> For Halloween, Mike is just going to hang strings off of himself and walk around like this. Because <laughs> that's what Geekiverse is. Mike. Anyway. All right. Yes. It's not the Microverse. <laughs> So just uh, everyone, let me know. I make sure I'm, I, I sound okay um, in the room and know everything. I'm. Uh, uh, I had messed with a lot of sound settings last night, so I just want to make sure that you know the final feed. I'm coming across okay. You should be fine. You sound good to me. <laughs> just you sound buttery to me, Mike. All right, look. Hey, remember who over to everybody says I sound like this. So right. you know. All right, hey, we're not gonna fuck around tonight. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to cover. We got one. Hold on. What? Paul. Paul Nunes. That was hysterical. I just saw that post you put in the Mythfits group. Yes. Your 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 uh your what do you call it? your Photoshop skills are uh He's or a, whatever you use. He's a savant. He's a savant. <laughs> Definitely an idiot savant. All right. So here's the deal. Mike asked me one hundred questions and I had to answer them. Mike, is Jenny gonna be in the room tonight? I don't know. She may be asleep already, but uh, letting down on her duties, buddy. Letting down on her duty. duties. I don't know. I'll uh, I'll tell. Uh, I'll see if I can text her. <laughs> All more, right. More to jump. She's got work. She's got to do. So now these are not going to be the same 100 questions. It's going to be I I crafted my own questions. I I did cheat a little bit. I went online and looked at other questions to get ideas. Some of these were direct steals, but a lot of them were either modified by me. Or, or customized by me for you, Mike. All right. Oh, dear. Here we go. <laughs> Get out. We'll, we'll see. see. All right. Number one, Mike, mm -hmm. in your opinion, in all reality, how long do you think you would last in a zombie apocalypse? <sighs> Probably about a week. <laughs> but if I, could, you know, if I could go a month. Yeah, I probably would increase my chances. Right. Yeah, I agree. I think if you could last a month, I mean, every, no, I, 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 think, I think every if I, if I could physically fit myself enough to last a month. Right. You know, like, how many zombies are are like directly in my vicinity? Do I have uh, access to certain things? I, I mean, <laughs> if you get a little bit of a head start, you might last a month. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. Number two, what was your dream car when you were a kid? And this can be when I say kid, I mean anything up to like eighteen, nineteen, whatever. It, it was a like an an old uh, Jeep CJ seven. It was it would all black mm -hmm. and it had red accents, maybe like red uh, disc, you know, um, uh, brake calipers. Okay. And uh, had it had the the back tire cover mm -hmm. had uh, it had a mural of the. Uh, what do you call it? The Terminator skull, and then the eyes would light up. That's pretty specific. The, uh, that is that is pretty specific. All right, yeah. what is your dream car now? A oh, hybrid. Good, <laughs> good gas mileage. A nice, a nice hybrid. Hi <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Do you have any friends on Facebook that? you keep out of guilt like people you stay friends with on facebook out of guilt you don't have to say who it's just a yes or no yes. <laughs> yes. okay very good all right have you ever lost a friend because of social media not because of social media i can lose friends without the help of social media okay yeah, but you know what Maybe I have, and I don't know it because if I said or did something that I didn't know about, and then somebody like you know, uh, def you know, def defriended me, and I wouldn't hey, even know it. Oh. A F A I K, right? <laughs> as far as I know. Oh, anyway, all right. Oh. What? Oh, my. <laughs> right. What video game were you king of as a kid? 
as a kid, man. Like when you're growing what you... up, what, what video game? I, you don't have to be like the best in the world or anything like that. But in your mind, in Mike's, <laughs> in the mind of Mike, what game did you like kick ass on? Mike's world. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Yars Revenge. Because, hey, you know, we are, um, we grew up in the Atari 2600 age. Mm -hmm. So I would say Yars Revenge. Now, arcade games, I would say I was pretty kick ass with tron the the actual stand-up game you oh, know yeah. console or okay yeah that's one had the four different games in it right you had like the discs you had the bike right? yes. yeah okay yeah yeah um, i'm trying to think what else uh eh, a couple of uh video games here and there tempest you know the one the yes. that would like you know the thing he's and you shoot down the middle yeah Yep, yeah, yep, I yep. I was super good at one that was a variant of that called Gyrus, which was like it was sort of like Galaga and Tempest combined. All okay. right. What is your favorite video game? Currently? Or uh, or of all time, whatever, however you want to answer it. I mean, true, man. Uh Call of Duty Mobile um okay. is just I'm kind of getting addicted to that uh, with my kids and some other friends and stuff. It's getting it's getting fun. It's like it's interesting to be able to if anyone's a, a fan, being able to play uh, Nuketown on your phone is like pretty cool. Sweet. OK, if you could spend the day with any historical figure, who would it be? And you can magically speak their language so it could be anybody. You don't have to worry about any stipulations, oh, man. Um historical if it's questionable whether there are uh uh as like if i said jesus but you know maybe it would be the actual real jesus jesus mm -hmm. you know i mean like maybe he was just a guy you know a carpenter and and they stole his identity you know he could be the first case of stolen hey, i mean listen i'm not trying to offend anybody i'm just I got saying you. no no i got you hey and just imagine this if he wasn't, just think of how much you'd learn. You'd be standing around going, hmm, whole day. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Maybe, right. So can I have a second? Uh, yeah, sure, also, I would think about maybe some of the founding fathers. That would be kind of cool. Okay. You know, to talk to them and go, you know, not that I would have any bearing on shaping this country, no. but to be able to go into an alternate timeline, as it were, and say, you know, did you ever consider like, you know, the right to bear arms? Like, what would that mean in a future where certain sure. things mean this? Yeah. I mean, and literally just to have an interesting mm -hmm. discussion, because those guys had to have been just like, really where, great. Where, thinkers. Where, where are you going with this one? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, what historical event would you like to be able to witness? And the stipulation of this is as an apparition, which means you can't be hurt by it. So if you wanted to say, ah, oh, when they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima, you know, whatever, I don't, whatever it is, you'll be fine. Yeah. What historical event would you like to witness with your own eyes? Man, you know, these questions are the kind that I, I should have had like uh, uh, advanced notice on. These are thoughtful. Mm -hmm. They're not oh, all thoughtful. It. They're not all thoughtful. <laughs> Okay. Did you bunch them all together? Christ, Some are. You, you might have spread them apart. Uh, Some let me of them see. Are. Uh, historical event. Um, um, maybe the Tunguska event. Oh, was that the? Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, the one in Russia. Yeah, yeah, that was neat. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what is your greatest personality trait, according to Mike Kafis? These all these questions are according to you, unless I unless I say otherwise. Sure. All right. I'll read that one more time. I was reading uh, Paul Noons. And what, his, uh, what is your greatest personality trait? My it could be even what you think other people would say. Um, you know, I'm thoughtful. I care. Maybe I maybe I, I don't verbalize myself, you know, as much. But, you know, my intentions are good and I will go. I will do, you know, go to the ends of the earth for for my friends, you know. Yeah. OK. What well, is your I'll help paint your fucking house? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'll even help paint someone's. What is your worst personality trait? Uh, probably that. Um, it's a personality trait. Yeah, not like Some... a physical. Tra it's, a, it's a personality trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, would it be that you, you know, sometimes angry? I, I uh, oh, what? Did you get angry sometimes at things. <laughs> No, this is you said it was me, not I, you. Oh, right? I've seen it. I've seen angry Mike. 
I mean, you know, we're we we are we are we're, we're right. buds for sorry, a sorry. reason. I'm 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 kibitzing. It's your it's your show. What what is your worst personality trait? I, I don't know. My worst, um, probably my wow. See, that's that's not a personality trait. I keep going to like other things, like not physical but mental or yeah, something. like memory uh, or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh probably they that and, and i've gotten better and i really think i've gotten better at it but probably just going a little like riding that razor's edge of oh just being a little overly absurd you know yes maybe, maybe just a good answer I mean, would you good answer <laughs> <laughs> would you would your civic would your significant other agree with these Hmm. Again, like I, I believe I've said, is that I have uh, significantly gotten better, okay. um, and and we're early days together, so I'm certainly not trying to, to go there <laughs> yet. You know, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, gotta keep a little some some things in the old uh, front pocket, right, or back pocket. Um. All right. So, oh, Paul Nerns, the three second attention span. Paul, not mental illness. Personality yeah, trait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Listen, if you want a ticket to go into space, would you use it or give it to someone else? So before you answer, this could include like your kids or someone else or whatever, or would you use it yourself? And there's nothing wrong with being selfish. <laughs> it is your ticket. Oh, you know what? I believe I would. Yeah. Especially, I mean, Pardon me for uh, stealing from other questions, but could be a great way to get out of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> just, just go. saying. All right. I, no, I think I would. I think I would do it. Um, okay. Provided I could physically handle it, I would make every attempt and go through all the training and everything. Sure. And sure. provided I could handle it, I I think I would do it. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Oh, I'm sorry. I words wrong. What is your favorite John Hughes movie? And just to remind you, he did Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Weird Science, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Some Kind of Wonderful. I know those are some of your favorites. Which, if you had to pick a favorite child, uh, prob probably growing up, I would have to say Breakfast Club. Okay. Uh, it's definitely a, a case study in personalities and interactions and stuff. It's okay. it, it was a good movie. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Ferris Bueller day myself. Yeah. Uh, what thing about you or your life has held you back from your dreams the most? Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> kids, it's a tough one. Count. Like, <laughs> what? Your kids count. Kids are acceptable <laughs> answer. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, I was going to say that uh, probably starting a life like, you know, a, a settled down life way too early, you know, yeah. like uh, if I could go back, I would say, you know, all that stuff will be there when you're in your 30s. But, yeah. you know, you have some early your early 20s, you could travel the world and mm -hmm. just take chances without as much way, way fewer um, consequences. I got you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Way too mm -hmm. settling down way too early. Good answer. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Where were we? Uh, damn it. I skipped ahead on something. All right. Sorry. I'll go back. All right. You're about to get in a fight. What is your theme song? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can he say? No, I I don't know. Uh, it all depends, you know. Like, what is the fight over? Um, it doesn't matter. Get ready to get in a fight with somebody. What What do you want your fight your your theme song to be? I guess something fight like. I, that's okay. a tough one. Uh, all right. I can't stop thinking about Rocky, and that's so so well, wrong. Hey, we'll pick something off of uh, Metallica. How about that? All right. What thing about you or Great your life? Blood. Oh, wait a minute. I did that one. That's the one I just did. Okay. Uh, name something significant that you used that you used to want for your life that is no longer important to you. Like something that used to be really important to you, but is now no longer important. Hmm. Man. Mm. 
Yeah, I would say, I guess, my career, and I say that because I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, a long time of working in one career for another just so I can stay in one place for my kids to be able to go to college. So I guess, I mean, you know, I would say that my kids would be more important than the career. So okay. but I, I don't want to call it a sacrifice, per se. You know, it's I'm willing to. Hey, giving up something's a sacrifice. All right, you're right. Bastards. Your house is on fire. Everyone is safely out, along with all important papers and money. Mm -hmm. You can go back in for one more thing. What I want to make sure the spider's dead. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Oh, um, well, see, uh, all the important things are out. No, 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 but... no. All the important papers and money. Oh, oh. So all the technically important shit is out. All the people, pets are all out. This is something personal. What do you go back in for? One thing. Uh... It would have to be something sentimental that I would think of that I'm maybe not thinking of now, but something like, uh, let's say, oh, my, you know, such as something that was in the um, jewelry, you know, like, a, oh, you know what? If Well, I don't know if it was if I wasn't wearing it, it'd be my grandfather's ring or something. Okay. All right, good you know answer. what I mean? A, a piece of sentimental jewelry or something like that. Hey, Camille's watching. Hey, Camille. All right, that's a first. I haven't. I've never. I've never noticed that she's watched before. That's cool. Welcome. Welcome to the show, Camille. Hope you're enjoying it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, 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 sorry, this this thing keeps moving on me. Um, how's far? Okay. What do you do on your phone while you're on the toilet? Usually play a game or check the news. Okay. I mean, I didn't ask thing. you if you looked at your phone on the toilet. We just assumed because we all. <laughs> You go, you know, it's like it's like a thing. You go on the toilet, you pull your pants down, you start going. You're like, I lift my phone in the other room. <laughs> like, oh, that's a that's a that's worth the squeeze to yeah. pull up, like, go oh, get oh, it. Now I gotta imagine. hurry up. All right. <laughs> okay. So, what do you miss most about being a kid? Uh, the 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 way less severities of consequences like oh, you know what i mean yes. uh, like making choices to do something stupid and now you're just like how is this going to impact the sustainability of my life the sustainability of the, my my body and injury you know right. and and when you're a kid you just don't you didn't you don't fucking care you're just like ah fuck it we'll, we'll see what happens it's worth it but you know what else you care but it doesn't really matter in the long run anyway right all right eh. ever re-gift something Yes. <laughs> okay. Worst gift anyone has ever given you. Something that maybe emotionally affected you. Like you got this gift and you were just like, it was like an insult maybe. Oh my God. All right. So I I don't know if this is going to specifically answer the question, but it's a great story anyway. Okay. okay? okay. So uh, one Christmas I kept telling, you know, and my ex-wife, I kept saying, I want a um, what is that called? Where they, they they had just come out? So a Dremel. I want a Dremel tool. And I, this is what I want. I want this Dremel tool, and you know, because this has all the stuff that I want. Da 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 da. And uh, so uh, I didn't believe they were going to get it for me. So I went out and bought it for myself, and I wrapped it and, and I put it under the tree. Well, little did I know. Not only did they know that I bought it, but they bought me one, and they bought me the better one. And then they rubbed it in my face so bad. Oh, they were just like, my. what are they? Uh, yeah, um, some families, you know, they, you, 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 uh, you do funny and absurd things for Christmas or jokes and stuff. So Christmas was always a fun time like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one one of the things that was cool. But uh, I remember that I, I really did bite myself in the ass. So I guess I did. Oh, I you gave <laughs> yourself the worst gift ever. ever. Oh. <laughs> nice. All right, you are the king of the world. Aliens have come to Earth and offered the cure for all cancers, but you have to offer up 1,000 totally random people, and that includes you. You don't have to be one of the 1,000. Like, you're not saying kill me, but you are part of that random I'm pool. Mom. So it could be anyone. It could be your kids. could be your mom. could be you. could be anybody. 1,000 right. people. But, it'll, but, but you will, they will give you the cure for every type of cancer. No one will ever get cancer again. Wow, that is um, that's that's pretty. I would say that's worth it. Me now, I would I 
Mike 3.0, as I like to call myself, uh, I would do that, yes. Knowing that I would be part of it, knowing that I could lose other people, I, the odds of losing them to cancer would probably be you know, greater than probably the odds greater of than, them. Probably greater than the odds of 1,000 out of 6 billion people, yeah. right? Good math. Yeah. All right. You went to poly. All right. If you could hack into any one computer's Whose computer would you choose? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Donald Trump. All right. All right. Good answer. Oh, I have one thing to say. <laughs> I have the whistleblower. Right. Bitch. Hey. <laughs> Should I delete your browser history upon your death? <laughs> you know, uh, Dude, there's that is not necessary, actually. Okay. Uh, that type of uh, requirement, which I fully and we all, I mean, if you if you understand this, then you understand it. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I go in incognito mode in my phone only, so there's no need <laughs> okay. for that. All right, nice. All right. Uh, look at you. Must really <laughs> need to hide something. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay if you were given 1000 acres of land what would you do with it 1000 acres yep <sighs> probably sell off a lot of it uh, okay. and, and even land. if it wasn't money i mean if, yeah i don't who, who wants like, in our age who needs all that land <laughs> oh um, the cutting of the grass <laughs> grass cutting um also though probably try and do something positive with it <laughs> paul, nunes. Yeah. paul nunes he must have been saying you can't go into hillary's because she already deleted all the good stuff yeah it's <laughs> awesome all right um yeah, jenny's jumping in now jenny should be jumping in all right, so. good. hey what is the scientific advancement you think you'll see in your lifetime that you are most excited about Something you think uh, is coming that you're excited to see. Ooh, man. If mm, God damn it. All right. You can be wrong. I mean, it, it's 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 yeah. coming. It might take longer, but whatever. Something that could conceivably be in your lifetime that you want to see. All right, so if it's not faster than light travel, then like near light speed. Okay. Um that would be cool also. Like anything having to do with like space and the ability to uh so ex like do space exploration. Colony on Mars, maybe? Yeah, Colony of Mars were just being able to say, all right, you know, we, we've solved the problem of uh, space and the um, the bigness, uh, the, 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 the particles, the bigness, the embiggening of space, <laughs> the you know, bigness of it. All right. yeah, okay. <laughs> now, you know, just like the uh, what is that called with the the the, the things that, that that can kill you, you know, the the, the rays, the, oh. the space rays. <laughs> all right. Who was your role model as a kid? Not as they were a kid, but when you were a kid. <laughs> Who was your role model? Oh, God, that is scary. Um, all right. Could be an actor you wanted to look like, a comedian you yeah. wanted to be as funny as. Bill Cosby's out. Um, <laughs> oh, hold, hold on a second. No, you're supposed to jump into the room so that you can, you Get can, it. uh, be Terry. <laughs> Call me out on my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's like coming out like thinking she was thinking she was going to be on the show. Oh no, <laughs> really bad because I was like, oh, you didn't have to get all dressed up. Right. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh. Fuck. What, what was Take the question? Take your panties back off. Uh, uh, who was your Who was your role model as a kid? I mean, honestly, he kind of was. Like, I was who, Bill a, Cosby. I mean, you know, I I liked him as a father, okay. but but it was actually hey. all right. Hey, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh, qualify that. All right. Uh. What is his name? Huxtable. Theo, Theo Huxtable, right? Theo Huxtable was. I got you. Okay. okay. Fair answer. Fair answer. Who is your role model today? Definitely not Bill Cosby. <laughs> not Bill Cosby. <laughs> Who is the role model today? I, man, I don't want to get uh I don't want to get all touchy feely or feelsy. But in some ways, uh I I want to be more like you because you have really uh gone like above and beyond what i thought you i mean and i'm being honest you know like i, I thought you would ever be yeah, you me, know too. What I mean? <laughs> me too me too 
with, with the accomplishments and your involvements and things. So, yep. so in, in some ways, like I, you are kind of a, you are a very immediate role model to me. And I, and oh. I think about the fact, you know, I have things to do and I don't want to disappoint you. And sometimes I do and sorry, but oh, you know, I still push myself. So Damn. Well, I'm, that's real. Thank you, buddy. Good answer. Thank you. Yo, All right. yo real feels bro. Real feels. <laughs> what animal makes the greatest pet? Oh, I like birds, but birds are cats. Usually it's hard to have both. <laughs> you know, yeah, you I know. had both. I know. It's hard to have birds. Yes. I, I'm, I'm a bird guy. I love birds. Okay, so birds it is. All right. Uh, who is your favorite cartoon character? <laughs> Does this pudding smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Try my new chloroform pudding pops. All right. <laughs> All right, Mike, come on. Who's your favorite cartoon character? Oh. Paul Nunes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, man, Homer Simpson. Yeah. Um, probably. But there's, there's, there's others, though. Um. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Hey Morty. Hey hey. Hey hey. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what fact amazes you every time you think about it? What fact? What fact? What thing about yeah. things? There's something. Uh, that like like thinking about just how human, how we we uh just the, the entire. Uh, theory on evolution, you okay. know, evolutionary theory, and sure. how it evolved into what we are now, and just it's mind blowing to think where it could be in about you know twice or you know like double that, or I guess even half the time that we've already been evolving, you know, mm -hmm. like half that time. Like, what would we be? What will we be then? Sure. That that kind of blows my mind. Um, okay, if you could no longer live in the USA, what country would you choose to move to? And this is just off the cuff from what you know right now. Yeah, you know, I, it used to be the UK, but uh, they, they're having their own issues. <laughs> they said, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, US, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, America's fucked up. Hold my beer, bitch. <laughs> Watch this. It, I honestly, pro I, I, even though I don't like the weather, probably uh, um, Canada. Canada. Okay. Yeah. I hear they're I heard they're nice up there, eh? Um, okay, here we go. Uh, what country do you want to visit the most? Hmm, Bora Bora, Fiji. Fiji seems nice. Yeah, island guy, huh? Yeah. If you, yeah. Okay. What? Is, that's going to tie into another question at some point, I think. What is the most <laughs> annoying thing people do? <laughs> uh. Including myself, just everyone being hypocritical. It's like everyone's a hypocrite at some point, you know, but also just being asshole, you know, drivers, right. which, again, I think it led to driving. I was like, well, no, that's more of a hypocritical in general. But, you know, what specifically just driving like assholes. And again, including myself, okay. we all go there, don't we? When we get pissed off. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, what? Sometimes. I like my horn. Put it that way. What was the most ridiculous dream you had as a teenager that you thought you might be able to achieve? Like, you know, you're a kid and you think you might, like when you're a teenager and you think, oh, I'm going to do this in life or I think I might be able to do that. And as you got older, you realized that was dumb as fuck for me to think that I could do that. Mm. Well, I don't know. I always tried to keep it real and I never had lofty goals that I'm, I can think of. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, my biggest problem was trying to figure out what I did want to do. <laughs> what was I capable of? <laughs> people peopling. What? <laughs> Jimmy said people people. peopling. All right. Um, what's the most spot? Huh? People just being people, okay. being annoying. People yeah. is just annoying AF. That's Sure. What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Um... Uh, it, it, it could fall into the realm of, of stupid, right? Sure. Spontaneous is stupid most of the time. Yeah. 
Uh, man, I don't know. I'm a. Uh, there's so many things, and yet so many things I shouldn't say. Um, would, would I, just out there, not saying a whole lot. Would it have something to do with like meeting up with someone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right. it, it, it centers around my my second okay. marriage. Let's what that way. what book <laughs> do you most remember reading as a kid? Um, there were sweet pickles. That was a um. That was a, a series of books that of like animals that were you know an- anthropomorphizes humans doing okay. humany things. Um, I I had a lot of. It was one of those things like my mom got me. They were like these three. <laughs> Sweet pickle. Right. Come on now, you're gonna you're gonna piss off Jenny. Got <laughs> her to come into the room. You know how she hates that. I thought she ought to know. Sorry, 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 Sorry. Jenny. <laughs> All right. So, what is your favorite franchise? So, like you know, like Star Wars, Star Trek, whatever. Anyone? Uh, um, gosh, currently it, it would be Marvel, probably DC, have to be whatever. Marvel. Marvel. Okay. Yeah. What is a skill that you don't cur- currently possess, but you want to before you die? Um, I would, what if, I mean, if, all right, I'm going to have to qualify that and say that I, I may be like level two or three, but I like, I want to be like <laughs> level four or five. What happened? Nothing. I don't know what this pertains to, but it's funny. No. Paul Moon <laughs> says not waking up under a scout master. I don't know what that relates to, but that's funny. <laughs> No matter what noons. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Um okay. Yeah. Uh what did I what was that? what did I I said something and I don't even Oh, remember. you're like level two or level three, but you want to be Oh yeah, just like you know, like um uh, uh, like const- uh, I guess like plumbing electrical and you know, like that kind of stuff, house repair and stuff. Like I wish I was, you know, like a higher level. Like I would love to like be able to just like, you know, oh, let's just redo this space. We'll put a bathroom in there. We'll do this. We'll do that. You know what I mean? Like complete home renovations. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Um, what age did you find out that Santa wasn't real and did it bother you? Um, wow. That's a journey, isn't it? I mean, um, probably. Probably, I'm probably pretty young. My mom never candy coated stuff. I can remember. Uh, <laughs> sorry, mom, but you know, she was like, "I ain't giving Santa no goddamn credit for these gifts. I bought these <laughs> credit." <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so, I mean, I'm probably younger. I mean, you know, because I, I think I remember, like, you know, being six or s- five or six, maybe seven, going. How, you know that those typical questions like uh, we don't have a chimney in our apartment. How's oh he goes down the little pipe? Well, how does he f-? you know all that yeah, kind of stuff? I gotcha. Yep. How all right. Physically work with that. Name name a time that you most you almost accidentally died. Oh, <laughs> like one of those times you could look back and go, man, that that could have been it. You know, I mean, I was in an automobile accident where I rolled a van. Yeah, but surprisingly it, it was sort of a baby's day out i kind of like it rolled over like a car hit me on the side as i was trying to turn and it rolled it kind of like went yeah. and then rolled over on the side and i just was like i fell out of the driver's seat and fell into the passenger's <laughs> side and, and i was just like like i was like literally fine come on that's not almost dying but, okay y- you roll up in a van you roll a van <laughs> dude <laughs> I've done worse than that. All right. Uh, uh, let's I mean, see. The chance it existed. Okay. The chance right. existed that I. Okay. What? <laughs> what is the? Call me a liar. <laughs> What's that? What? My mom called me a liar with the whole Santa Claus thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, she said when he hooked school. Yeah, you almost died. On that one. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that could be a spontaneous poor choice. Yeah, that could be. Uh, all right. What is the meanest thing you've ever done to another person? Oh, man. That's. Jeez. Oh, is that hitting low? That's probably hitting low. That's kind of. I mean, yeah. You can skip that one if you want. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a medium, you know, severity uh, example. Um, I, I mean. 
honestly, I'm, I, I honestly, it is, it is anathema to my nature to do like just mean or bad things. So it's, it's, it really is hard to, to say you have to really, really piss me off to, to raise that. Well, you kind could, of a, you could do something that isn't supposed to be mean, but is mean and you're not doing it to hurt someone, but it does hurt them. I mean, you know what I mean? So like an action that you take may not have intentions of being mean, but was mean. Right. So there's that. Hey, bitch had it coming. Right. I'm just saying. All right. Name yeah. a person that you'd like to have 10 minutes alone with and have no repercussions of any action you take. Thank you, Jenny. She, she knows. Honestly, she's not a mean bone. I really don't have a mean bone in my body. All right. Even when I try and make pretend like, yeah, I would, I would fucking, you know what I mean? Fuck that. This and that and the other. And All right, you well, should... hold on. I'm going to put that to the test. Oh, God. For the next question. You know, name a person that you'd like to have 10 minutes alone with and have no repercussions uh, to any action you take. <laughs> oh, wait, but that might not be mean. That just might be. <laughs> well, I didn't think about it I mean, in that direction. <laughs> All right, never mind. Yeah, it, would, it would just be someone who committed some type of atrocity that would seriously deserve to get what they had coming. Mm-hmm. I would let's just say I would make the most of it and it would be something I would do to you know a person that's important to me. Okay. Have you ever been arrested? No, I have not okay. actually. If you were arrested, have you? what? Have you? <clears throat> if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Hmm. Like Jenny calls me, she says, Mike's been arrested. I like, oh, what did he what bill did he not pay this time? <laughs> yeah. It would have been something like a dumb like I don't know, suppose like You forgot you know, to do like, something with your tags yeah. or something. Yeah, you know, where right. it was like it's such a bullshit called a bullshit charge. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> what thing do you wish you could do now that you can't because of age? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what do I wish I could do, but I can't because of my age? Yep. Yeah, believe it or not, kind of maybe join the military. Okay. Um, I would have liked to have done that, even though, I mean, and I, you know, the whole reason I, I was thinking about it, but then like, you know, Desert Storm happened, Desert Shield, whatever. And I was like, hmm. Mm, I'm going to the desert. Maybe, right. maybe not the, I don't, I'm not a desert guy. Yeah, I feel like it's so you know? hot. It's so hot over there. <laughs> it's already a little, a little parched. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's a movie you always get stuck on when surfing? Channel surfing. Channel surfing. Yeah. Forrest Gump. If Forrest Gump's on, boom. Yes. Oh, yep. Crap, that, there fuck. It's like a. It's yeah. like a bear trap. <laughs> like a moth to the flame. Yep. Oh. yep. All right. What pet made the most impact on you? What? What? What pet? What pet yeah. that you've owned has made the most impact on you? Phoebe. Yeah. Oh, Phoebe. Yeah, Phoebe. She was a dog. Uh, she was like a first dog in my, you know, when I, I that dog we got right, right when uh, my first wife was pregnant and, you know, before, right, you know, so that dog was sort of the family dog for uh, quite a long time. That dog lived longer than my marriage, actually. Mm. Oh, and Jenny, yes, there is, there's like a few, it gets a little confusing because there's a little bit of a delay. It, it, there's a, there's a little bit of a skill into trying to navigate it. Like sometimes I'll miss questions, comments on here. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't remember what that was for. All right. Uh, what time in your life were you the most scared? Uh, hmm. Mm. I think ooh, when I was being accused of cheating in college, uh, it wasn't accused as in like, we, we know you did it, but it was like, I was brought in because they thought that the, the possibility existed. And, um, I, I wasn't exactly cheating, but I, I, I made a choice that allowed <clears throat> that allowed someone else to sign off on some paperwork that shouldn't have been signed off on kind of a thing. And then, uh -huh. so, you know, Basically, I just had to do more extra work in order to prove myself. But uh, but I was like scared. You know, it's like you just did like four or five years in college. And it's right. like. <gasps> yeah. OK. What is the most physically painful thing that has happened to you? 
physically painful. Um, it's like, well, I, had, I had to take a crap about 30 minutes ago and whoo, whoo, uh, after I mean, the hot wing challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, I'm trying to think like I've never really had much in the, uh, in surgery. Maybe when I, I had, um, my, what do you call them? Wisdoms? My, uh, some teeth pulled and then it was another tooth pulled so i got home and uh at right as the anesthesia was wearing off it was like oh that all right that hurt. i got a good one for you okay there's a million dollars that will go to either you or your mom neither of you can spend any of it on each other in any way but you get to choose who gets the money so what you're saying is I can't use that loophole of, I mean, you know, it it would become mine eventually. Nope. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Right. There's, there's oh, no God. way that you can get any of this money at all. Not a penny of it. You can't benefit if from I, it at all. If I give it to her. If you give it to her. Or you can keep it and you can't give a penny to her. Like you can't even say, being that I have all this income, I can give her more of my regular paycheck. Can't do it. Oh, geez. Well, this is a very uh, trolley car type situation. <laughs> but, um, we love you, Mama um, Marsh, but you know what? You know what, Peter? I'm going to I'm going to answer this uh, from a different angle. OK, <laughs> I'm going to say that uh, if let's say my son had that similar dilemma and yeah. I was the choice between him and myself, yeah. I know as a parent that I would say, <laughs> Listen, I want you to take the money. It's going to, it'll, you know, I'm, I'm dead soon. You know what I mean? Hey, Jenny uh, says mama. Jenny says mama. Well, Jenny, th this is not Jenny's choice. <laughs> know, right? Not All right, Mike, lightning choice. round. We're, we're running long. All right, Marvel or DC? Oh, well, I, I think I are. Well, t Marvel hands down. Okay. Star Wars or Star DC. Trek? Uh, Star Trek. Name an unpopular movie that you like. <laughs> the Room? No, I'm just... Oh, oh I oh. like. You like. Never mind. Um, oh, God, yours was Flash Gordon. What is mine? Um, I have one. Oh, I can't think of it. Oh, it's there. Do you, are, 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 you know me. Is there is there something I'm not thinking of? It's probably oh, something no. annoying. But, um, all right, we'll come, we can come back to it. Okay, I'm putting that on the back burner. Okay, name a popular movie that you hate. Something that everybody likes, but you hate it. Anything with Will Ferrell. Okay. Name a popular band that you hate. And you can't say Nickelback. <laughs> I kind of like Nickelback. Okay. <laughs> kind of like them. All right. I like the mysticism. Um, a, a band that I hate. Oh, God, most of the boy bands. Yeah. I just... They're not for me. Yeah, Post Malone <clears throat> sucks ass. All right, name a band that is a guilty pleasure. Oh, um, man, guilty pleasure band. I don't know. See, mine's Adam Ant. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, because I hate country, I guess I would say that in a way, uh, uh, you know, you like him too. What's his name? Johnny um, Cash. Yeah, Johnny Cash. He's okay. a guilty pleasure. All right. I mean, you know, for me, for me. Sure, I got you. You have a one minute slot during the Super Bowl that you cannot sell and you can fill it with whatever you want. What do you fill it with? Say that one more time. All right. During the Super Bowl, you got a one minute slot of airtime oh. that you can fill with anything. Can't sell it. You got to fill it. What do you fill it with? Uh, oh, I, I would probably use that to do something really romantic. Okay. So not stuffing like, like tiny candy dicks in your mouth and see how many can fit. No, nope. no, okay, no. We do that. Okay, all right. Just wondering. I don't if I don't see that happening. No. <laughs> if there was a Mike Kafis day, how would it be celebrated? Oh, everyone just sleeps in. <laughs> okay. Like, like you're not allowed to get out of bed. Okay. That's how I celebrate. My daughter celebrates your day every day. What is Yay! a food that you like that most people think is gross? Oh. Mine is Scrapple. Yeah, I. Um, hmm. Shit, what is mine? I mean, you like kale, oh, right? 
because kale huh? is fucking awful. What? Yeah, kale, but uh, I'll, I'll, I like uh, pig ears. I like uh, I like this thing called souse, which is like a oh. joints that's yeah. uh, in a congealed soup. Yeah, um, nice. Gavilta fish? You like the gavilta fish? Yeah, but I mean, that's like, that's like a, that's the hot dog of the Jews. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jewish oh. hot dog. Gavilta <laughs> fish. It's like a, a Jewish hot dog. Oh my God. All right. Uh, if money were no object, what would you do just for yourself? Uh, travel a lot. Um, also probably try and help people that like, uh, honestly, phil philanthropic. No, fuck you. Uh, do like, for yourself. But well, then I would travel a lot. Okay. What is your Starbucks go to? Uh, I I really do like the nitro. That's it. It's just called a nitro. Yeah, just a nitro um, brew. You know. Oh, so it's not like a frappa coca mocha chino chippity chop with a double swirl of a super shot and a. Why Why didn't you say with that? I mean, you said my good lately. I you know I'm going okay. to more simple. Okay. Just give me okay. the. Coffee. Fair enough. However, however, venti mint chocolate peppermint mocha. Okay. With, uh, three. Nuts. Excellent. Yes. All right. Is there a fast food chain that you love? I know people always talk about oh, fast food. So disgusting. That's bullshit. Everybody likes some kind of fast food. What's yours? Which one that you like? God. Oh. I mean, just your quintessential, not even like a higher tier. We're going with bottom of the barrel fast Whatever. food. Got to go with Taco Bell. Taco Bell. My man. All right. Except they yeah. killed the fucking double decker. Not happy about that. Oh, if oh, oh. How about this? They killed the Mexi Melt with sour cream or the, the Mexi Melt. I know. I know. Yeah. They killed that a while ago. Yeah. I was, oh, I had shit. already, I had already healed that, that scar. I haven't. I okay. haven't. You know me. You know me. Oh, I love the Mexi Melt, dude. I'm if, not happy about new, new things change. I'm happy. <laughs> if you could be famous for something, what would you oh. like it to be? If I could be famous for something. Mm -hmm. Uh,. The leader of the world who cured cancer. Okay. Ah, you like that shit. No. Yeah. Um, he only had to no, kill a thousand people, but it was good. <laughs> they were going to die. Somebody, either them or another thousand were right. going to die. Sure. And that's a trouble car question. Yeah. Um, nah, yeah, yeah. What am I going to be famous for? Uh, known for something good, like like I want to be. I would like to be famous for known to have done something that was like you know, like the. Uh, a, a gentleman in, in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, you know, did this thing that actually, you know, and everyone's like, oh, like a feel good story. Like sort help of the thing. homeless or some shit, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. The help for a hamster, yeah, whatever. Shooting really low. All right. What is your favorite sport? Football. Football. All right. I, I you know, I thought you were going to say hockey, but okay, football. Yeah, you know, I'm really big into football. I'm okay. big into fantasy football, and I do love to even remember when I was younger playing oh, football. Maybe Jenny said Taco a, Bell. Huh? Jenny said Taco Bell. Yeah. All right. What well, is your menu? I don't know. Tell me a secret menu uh, what, item from Taco Bell. What know. is your favorite type of music? Um. Oh man, nowadays. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you, if you'd asked me uh, two years ago, I'd have said Soka. Yeah, yeah. I still do love Soka. <laughs> that's Chutney, but uh, oh, whatever. So, oh, oh, there's a big difference. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, honestly, I'd have to say either uh, like reggae still, a big reggae, and uh, like, you know, some, my, my favorite band is Sublime. So I kind of love that um, kind of music, even okay. though they're dead. You know, yeah. but anyway, you've been sentenced to death. What one item of food do you want for your last meal? Not what your whole last meal is, but what one item of food has to be in that last meal? <laughs> Say scrapple. Say scrapple. Say scrapple. No. Fuck that. <laughs> um, <laughs> human brains. No, I'm just uh, kidding. I always wanted to try it. Yeah. No, nah, probably just the uh, the most juiciest Kobe beef steak. You know what I mean? Just like the the most tender uh, prime rib cut of in the world. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. best prepared by somebody good. Okay, 
Biggest celebrity Why crush. Death. What's that? Why did I get sentenced to death? I don't know. Probably because you killed a thousand people. Biggest celebrity crush growing up. Madonna. Oh yeah. Okay. Biggest celebrity crush now. Um, celebrity crush. Vin Diesel. No. <laughs> Ryan Rock. Reynolds. He's so yeah. dreamy. I don't. I don't really have celebrity crushes per se right now. There's no. I don't think no celebrity you're attracted to. Like you're really, really attracted to. Nobody. Oh, there's this one lawyer. Her name's Jenny. Oh, fuck Matt. off. All right. If you and Jenny swapped bodies, this is a good one. This is a good oh. one. If you and Jenny swapped bodies, but had to mm -hmm. carry on as normal. Do you think you could fake her life for one day? <laughs> like you had to go to her job, you had to do all the shit, and you had to pretend to be her. Do you think you could fake it? I mean, I, I ugh, could I be a lawyer for a day? It depends. Does she have like, – it depends. If, if there is a jury trial, they're fucked. Um, <laughs> just saying. Right. Uh I, you know, I could probably pull it off. The next day, they'd be like, were you feeling okay yesterday? Right. And I, you know, could just feign like, oh, I wasn't feeling too well. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. I don't know if she could feign me, though. All right. Now, hold know, on. I mean, I could, could, that's the next question. Could she fake yours? <laughs> she said not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I know. I could just be a pretentious lawyer. I know how to. So do hold on, that. wait, Mike. The question would be: Could she fake yours? Now you're asking me. Say that your question to me should be: Five years ago or now? Because five years ago, <laughs> fuck yeah, she just doesn't show up. Nobody would care, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, take the day off. Right? Um, um, just go in your office, shut the door, and then right? leave at four thirty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, all right, come on, we're getting a lot of time. We got five okay. minutes left, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go over a little bit, everybody, tonight, because I want to get through some of these. All right, the world is going to end in forty-eight hours. You are the only one who knows, and there's nothing you can do about it. You have a credit card that has ten thousand dollars open on it. What do you do? Uh, obviously, I spend it. What do I do though with it? Okay, um, go to Bora Bora. Yeah, yeah, forty-eight hours. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're we're traveling. We're we're gonna die in a tropical island. Okay. Have you ever accidentally injured yourself because you got angry? <laughs> Have I not ever done that? Okay. No. South Pacific? Uh, huh? What? I, I'm trying to get through these. South oh, Pacific cruise or backpack across Europe? South Pacific cruise, please. Name and. Name an that accent, walking, bro. <laughs> name an accent that you love to listen to. Oh, um, man. Mm. Is that French? Uh, maybe women, like a, a female, um, what is that called? Uh, Arabic. Okay. Accent. Name one you can't stand to listen to. Only because I've been listening to a lot of this guy scammer scamming scammers on the, and it's just like I didn't realize how hostile how hostile I was getting toward um hearing uh like the Indian accent only because they're outsourced and you know those scammers are mostly from India and that's who they're talking and I'm li I've listened to hours and then one day I got a phone call and I was like or I was dealing with tech support on my own and I was like literally getting really hostile I was like oh but I think I did <laughs> myself it's not like I it's not has nothing to do with culturally if okay. that makes sense sure all right um ever shart in a public place Yeah, next question. All right. Ever pee the bed beyond age five? Hmm. I, my mom would be better off to answer that. One that you remember. Uh, I do not remember. Okay. No. And I wasn't, I didn't really have that kind of an issue. Okay. I never even shit the bed. I mean, some people get drunk and pee the bed. I never yeah. have, but I know, I know of people that do. All right. Oh, yeah. Me too. 
Choose between having to talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader for the rest of your life. The rest of my life. Wow. Yeah. Um, probably Yoda. Yoda. At least. <laughs> yeah. She's not I mean, struggling like, to breathe. Yoda. I, Yoda. Yeah, I don't know. But everybody's always like, what the fuck is wrong? Well, all right. What name? Oh, yeah, because I didn't say what the fuck's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. It's like, I smoke too. <sighs> Packs of caramels a day. All right. What name did you want to give to one of your kids, but were overruled? Um, Jesus, I don't remember. There was a name. Um, I don't remember. Define public. <laughs> 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 that's fucked up <laughs> no you don't have to do that um, <laughs> what what was the question again <laughs> um what what did what name did you want to give one of your kids but were overruled i don't i don't remember okay what is the weirdest thing you did as a child <laughs> Um, keep it short because we're on time. Yeah, I, we're oh almost there. My God, the weirdest thing I did. Mom, chime in. But uh, weirdest thing I did as a child. Like, did you like pick mm -hmm. belly button lint out and eat it? I don't know. Make cubby dolls out of it? Huh? No, I. I mean, it, the weirdest thing I still do. I mean, you know, you you just you smell you smell yourself all over. Okay. You know you. If you, does, does my belly button stink? Okay. <clears throat> if you could swim in any liquid, what would it be? Swim in any liquid? Yeah. That liquid that you can breathe in. Okay. What you know was... What I mean? Yes. What was the worst pet you've ever had? Hmm. This one fucking cat <laughs> that used to get into a pissing contest <laughs> with... <laughs> Baby, and like every like every day there would I mean like we got to the point where we had to like put plastic all over like literally coat the thing in, in a zippered plastic bag and yep. you would come home and there would be a puddle of piss yep. you've been magically turned into a hot well this is a good one this is a good one. Oh god you've been magically turned into a hot woman no one but you knows and you will turn back in 24 hours would you have sex with a man? I was turned into a woman? You've turned it. You woke up. You're a woman. You're a beautiful, hot woman. No one else knows this. And in 24 yeah. hours, you'll be Mike again, and no one will ever know. Oh, you're would you goddamn have... right I would. Okay. Very good. I would, good I would have, I would have that, that sexual experience. I would have a lesbian experience. Okay. All right. I, all right. Okay. Yeah. All, right, all right. Easy. Easy, Tiger. Easy. Oh. <laughs> what Simpsons character are you? So you did find my 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 uh, browser history. No, what? <laughs> what Simpson character are you? Uh, Homer. I mean, come on, okay. come on, come on. All right. Here's another. Here's another trolley one, or sort of trolley one. But you are given a button that will kill a person with at least three degrees of separation from you. Right? You get that? Mm -hmm. yeah, if I you do. push it, you will get ten million dollars. If you don't, you get nothing. Where's the button? Okay. If you could go back to the day you graduated Ooh. high school, what profession would you pursue? Hey, Pete. Boop. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> bye, bitch. <laughs> uh, what profession would I pursue if I could go back? To the day you graduated high school. Yeah. Uh, Probably. <laughs> Jonathan Reinhardt said, bang all the dudes. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Uh, I, I would probably do something along the lines of a trade, but I would know that I would, I would probably still go to college and and learn how to make my own business out of it, so that I could be successful. Okay, you know, in the business. That's actually a really good choice. All right, yeah. what is your most hated chore? <clears throat> my most hated chore. Uh just like general cleaning okay you know um like you know um yeah all right uh, what uh -huh. what chore do you always volunteer to do oh 
uh, the dishes. Okay. Do you get over things easy or do you hold grudges? Um, 90% of the time I let 90% of the things go. 10% okay. of the time I hold a hard grudge. Okay. So that's, that's, you, you let things go. So you're looking at one person, you let things go, but someone could push you too far. All right. Oh yeah. When you put your pants on, which leg goes in first? I want to say my right leg. Okay. I want to. I may actually have to let you know tomorrow. I, fuck. <laughs> Would you brush your teeth with Jenny's toothbrush? Shit, maybe it's the left leg. <laughs> I didn't Ooh. know that was going to be the hard question. <laughs> oh, because you know, I can balance better on my, le on my right leg, so do I go in there? <laughs> Something you do at least oh. once a day. <laughs> I will say, because Jenny and I have talked about this, my, <laughs> what is this disguise? Just lifting the that. lid to pee. It's funny. All right. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I, I know I put my, I put my right foot in the shoe first. I okay. do that. And, and, and I put my socks on both socks, then shoes. Yeah. Some people put one sock, one shoe, one sock. That's one crazy. Shoe. That's crazy. All right. <clears throat> would you, would you ever brush your teeth with Jenny's toothbrush? Like knowingly. I'm, Oh, <laughs> some people have a hang up about that shit. I, I don't. Yeah, let's just say I don't. OK, I don't have a hang up about it. Not th not not that I'm admitting guilt. Right. <clears throat> Next question. <laughs> Hurry. Ever, Hurry. <laughs> ever throw up on another person? <sighs> not on purpose. So that's a <laughs> yes. I, I, your mom doesn't count when you're a baby. I'm talking about like, yeah. you know, I, I'm not going to say that no peace has never gotten <laughs> nowhere on no one. I'm not going to say that I like, I had a direct hit, but hey, there, there, there were pieces. You know, all of my shenanigans growing up, right? Fun yes. fact. I have never thrown up anywhere that wasn't appropriate. True. So I mean, out a car a door, if it blows back up in the car, I can't control that. I did get my head out the door and I did puke out the door. Okay. Uh, I puked in a bathtub once, easy to clean up. I've puked in toilets and sinks and garbage cans and into a drain once outside. Never have I thrown up on a carpet or a bed or anywhere I wasn't supposed to. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, ever fart in someone's face? I cannot. <laughs> I, I cannot confirm nor deny that. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Ever accidentally pick up someone else's drink and upon realizing it, continue to drink oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. For the audio listeners, shaking head. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. What? Have I ever. Accidentally pick up someone else's drink and upon realizing it, continue to drink it. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry, honey. What's that? Sorry, honey. <laughs> All right, last one. You made it. Everyone, everyone else's tastes so much better than your own. It's right. just, it's a fart. Right. Unfortunately, that doesn't go with farts. All right. Um, all right, Mike, <laughs> that, here's that. your last one. When wiping, do you come in from the side, the back, or the front? I come out from the back, but I start, I go all the way up, you know, front, and then I go. No, no, but you back. come in from the side? Well, yeah. Come in, like, well, like yes. So yes. In other words, you don't call, you don't like go in through the back. You go around the side, or how do you? Like, where does your uh, hand start? Is it is it from, from, a, from a, a northeasterly <laughs> north north northeast? I guess. I mean, I mean, I'm not coming from south by south, you know. <laughs> All right, Mike. That's your hundred questions. <laughs> I did it. How did I do? <laughs> you did all right. There was only the one that you didn't know, and I can't remember. It says, like, what movie? I think, what, what popular movie? No, what unpopular movie do you like? Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure it's there. It's, 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 it's there. Um, I'm trying to think of what movie do I, movies like I would have owned, you know, but most of them are popular. So, I, uh, shit, I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, none. None would be the answer. None that you can remember. No All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. It's time, though. We got to roll. E. All right. Let's do the let's do the thing. 
You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Mythwits. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Tweet us at Mythwits and check out Mythwits.com. Mythwits is TS is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com for more cool shows like Wargaming Recon, the longest running tabletop wargaming podcast on the planet, run by a good buddy of ours, Jonathan Reinhardt. It is a fantastic podcast. If you're into wargaming at all, you should check it out. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't change it. And Mike, I swore I thought you were going to say snappy, so this is why I put this one in. Don't feed it to Mike's fat cat while it's still red hot. But that didn't happen. See, it was Phoebe instead of Snappy. Oh, his, you yeah. should have said something. Snappy. Oh, we're Snappy. snappy. Right, oh. Anyway, thanks everybody for listening. Please tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike. Just realized the movie, The Never Ending Story. All right. The Never Ending Story. Shit that I love. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>